that's what I know. And I was told, don't do that anymore because we'll kill you. People started playing games and now the game is out of control. The world's never going to be the same. But he warned me that the world would change and I didn't really understand it at the time. Brian Rose just got yanked from the air because he brought something that was controversial on. That's the freedom of speech. But so is being politically correct. PC is you violate the First Amendment, the freedom of speech. Another thing that's been violated is the right to assembly. Social distancing and shutting down businesses is a violation of the First Amendment. So our rights are being ripped out of our hands right now. And that disturbs me. So when Brian Rose, a great guy, he got taken off because he criticized, you know, LinkedIn and Bill Gates and YouTube and all this stuff. So that's what you got to be careful today because freedom of speech is gone. Some of the nasty threats I've gotten. You better watch out. I've studied vaccines. I kind of know what they do. The primary reason vaccines are so profitable is because when they brought them out, you cannot be sued. The drug big pharma cannot be sued for any failure of the vaccine. So the vaccine... I, I, I said come in 2016, but I didn't foresee. I, I started prophecy in 1999, but I didn't foresee quantitative easing and zero interest rates. I didn't foresee how desperate our leaders are, the Federal Reserve Bank, the Treasury, Wall Street, and even putting students in debt. I cannot believe how desperate people are. Everybody's so desperate because this world, starting from 1971, is so deeply in debt. The world's never going to be the same. People don't want to be scammed. First of all, they have to get informed and they have to stop getting all their perceptions from the mainstream media. When you step back from mainstream sources and you look at alternative sources where narratives are being questioned instead of parroted and repeated, then you can start to see how the dots connect. What is happening that is the point of revelatory understanding? It's why it's happening. See, what's missing is context. You know, the mainstream media will tell you that something's happening. They won't tell you accurately, unbiasedly, why it's happening. I have this phrase, know the outcome and you'll see the journey. If you don't know where the world's being taken and who by, and the techniques of manipulation that take us there, then the world is a random place. You look at a newspaper and you look at the news or whatever, and lots of random things are happening. From that perspective of perceptual randomness to make sense of the world, not going to do it. When you know where the world's being taken, you know basically who's taking us there, why, and the techniques of manipulation to take us there, suddenly randomness disappears because what is random to most people becomes a very clear sequence of events that is taking us in a very obvious direction towards the outcome. One of the expressions, and very relevant to today, of this mind control, what they call trauma-based mind control, is that when someone's traumatized in a state of anxiety, state of fear, they become massively suggestible. This is why they use trauma as part of the mind programming. So what they're doing to humanity as a whole is producing reasons to fear, reasons for trauma, reasons for anxiety and when they've manipulated people into those states they then put the mind control suggestions in there of um, that change perception if you get someone a lot of people watching this will have seen this in their own experience in the last few months if you get someone so traumatized about a deadly virus, they become absolutely open to hypnotic 
suggestion, because this cult is not really targeting the conscious mind overwhelmingly. It's targeting the subconscious mind, which then filters through to become conscious perception. They put the suggestions in and change people's psyche. What's happened is that so many people in the last few months have been put under a hypnotic spell. And indeed, people are put through a hypnotic spell their entire lives. You start, you go through the education system and then into the, the world of, you know, where the media is telling you everything. It's a hypnotic spell that's being cast on the human race. And when people talk about people waking up, what does that mean? It means they wake up from the trance. They wake up from the spell. And so I meet so many people because of what I do. And what do they say? I woke up. It's exactly what happened. When you can put out information that's putting a different angle on everything, what you're doing is breaking the spell. Because the spell is basically all that anyone's ever heard. All mainstream sources, they're all sources of the spell. And when people hear other sources of information and other ways of looking at the world, it breaks the spell. And people say, I woke up. Yeah, you woke up from the trance. And you've basically been put in since the day you were born. What has happened in the last few weeks of this hoax has been the most potent, obvious, in-your-face example of a spell being cast on the human psyche. Because someone, you are feeling sleepy, has told them to do so. No questioning, no research, no who benefits, just do it. Why is it that so many people in the military, especially in the more, if you like, extreme elements of the military, why do they find it so hard to come back into human society? Because they've become so used to being told what to do that they don't know how to function when no one's telling them what to do anymore.